Good morning children. Today's date is 15th of July and the year is 2020 and today's day is Wednesday. So in our literacy class today we will revise the five rhymes that we have done until now. Yes, so in our literacy classes we have studied rhyming words from different rhymes. So today we are going to revise all those rhymes and the rhyming words. So let us begin with the first rhyme that we did and that's Humpty Dumpty. Okay. So let us say the rhyme and then we will figure out the rhyming words. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So now, can we hunt for the rhyming words? Okay, so I'll say line by line. So I'll say two lines at a time. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. There's one set of rhyming word here. Two words. Wall. Fall. Wall. Fall. So this is my first rhyming word. Yes. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yes, there's one more set of rhyming words. I say that sentence again. All the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. So I have another pair here. Men again. Okay, so I have two set of rhyming words in the rhyme Humpty Dumpty. Wall fall. Men again. To our second rhyme. The name of the rhyme is Hickory Dickory Dock. Okay, so let us begin to read the rhyme. Hickory Dickory Dock The mouse ran up the clock The clock struck one The mass mouse ran down Hickory Dickory Dock so Can we search for the rhyming words? Okay, so I'll say the first two lines together. Okay, so listen carefully and try to recognize the rhyming words in these lines. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. So what's the first pair here of rhyming words? Dock, clock. Yes. So the first set of rhyming words in the rhyme hickory dockery dock is dock clock. Yes, the ending sound is the same. That's why they are rhyming words. Yes, you must have understood by now that rhyming words are words that end with the same sound. Okay, so this is one set of rhyming word that we had in the rhyme hickory dickory dock. Now coming to the third rhyme. The name of the rhyme is Jack and Jill. And we had done this rhyme on Monday. Yes, we did the rhyming words. And we also induced the new sound that is J. Yeah, so you are practicing at home to write the word, to write the sound J. Okay, so I want you to practice writing that sound very nicely every day at home. And then finally do it in your literacy notebook. Okay. So now coming back to this rhyme. Jack and Jill. Let us hunt for the rhyming words. Okay. So let me read the rhyme first. And then we will search for the rhyming words. Jack and Jill went up the hill. To fetch a pail of water. 
Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Okay. So now I will read the two, one word together. Okay. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Yes, so here's my first set of rhyming words. Jill, hill. Jill, hill. Yeah, so the ending sound is the same. Ill, ill. That is why they are rhyming words. Okay, now coming to the next one. To fetch a pail of water and Jill came tumbling after. Yes, so here's my second set of rhyming words. Water after. Yes, so the ending sound here is tur, tur, water after. Yes, that is why they are rhyming words. Now let us see our third pair of rhyming words. Okay. Jack fell down and broke his crown. So here's my third set of rhyming words. Down, crown. So the ending sound is own, own, down, crown. Yes, they sound the same at the end. That is why this is my third set of rhyming words. Yes, so I had three set of rhyming words in the rhyme Jack and Jill. The first one was Jill Hill. Second, water after. And the third one is down crown. Our next rhyme. The name of the rhyme is Little Miss Muffet. Okay, so first we'll read the rhyme. We'll say the rhyme together. And then we will search for the rhyming words. Okay, so let us begin to read the rhyme. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. Eating her curds and whey, along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Okay, so now I will say the words, say the lines which have the rhyming words together so that you can make out the rhyming words. Okay, so let us begin with the first set of rhyming words. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. So I get here my first set of rhyming words. They are Muffet, Tuffet, Fet, Fet. Yes, that's the ending sound. Muffet, Tuffet. Now let us look at the second set. Eating her curds and whey and frighten Miss Muffet away. Yes, they sound the same. Whey, away. We away. Yes. Now let us look for the third set of rhyming words. Along came a spider who sat down beside her. Yes, a spider and her. Because the end sound is er, er, spider, her. Yes, so we have three set of rhyming words in the rhyme Little Miss Muffet. Okay, so the first set is Muffet, Tuffet. The second one is Way Away. And the third one is Spider Her. Our last rhyme, which was a very funny rhyme as well. Okay, the name of the rhyme is Hey Diddle Diddle. So let us say the rhyme together and then start hunting for the rhyming words. Hey Diddle Diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such fun. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Okay, so I'll say the two lines together which have the rhyming words. You listen carefully and try to tell what the rhyming words are. Okay, so here goes the lines okay hey diddle diddle the cat and the fiddle diddle fiddle 
Don't they sound the same? They sound the same at the end. The ending sound is the same. So here I have my first set of rhyming words. Diddle, fiddle. Okay. Now I'll say another two lines. Okay, which have the rhyming words. The cow jumped over the moon. And the dish ran away with the spoon. Yes, so you have my second set of rhyming words. Moon, spoon. The ending sound is oon, oon. Moon, spoon. Yes, so in this rhyme I have two pair of rhyming words. Diddle, fiddle is my first one. The second one is moon, spoon. Okay. So children, I want you to revise these five rhymes and the rhyming words in these rhymes. Okay. So that's your homework. You have to revise these five rhymes. And by now you should be knowing these five rhymes. Yes, by heart. You must have learned the rhyme when we were doing the rhyming words. So this is actually just a quick revision. Okay. For the rhyming words for all these rhymes. So I want you to do the rhyming words in all these five rhymes. Okay, so if you have not memorized these rhymes, please memorize them. Okay children, bye.